Shalom Vracha, how are you doing? I wanted to share a certain thought I had, something general about the wisdom of, uh, of our faith, of our belief in the Almighty. We know that um, the Hebrew people, the Israelis, the Jewish people that are observant until today, we are commanded to put a mezuzah on our doorstep. We're putting a piece of um, a scroll that made out of a skin of a kosher animal. And on it, there's a portion from the Torah, from the Bible, that is called Kriyat Shema. And in the main verse of Kriyat Shema, we're saying, Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Listen, the people of Israel, Adonai is our God. Adonai is one. The name of Hashem is one. And we're putting that on the entrance to our houses and we live inside. And there is something very special and unique in that because usually in the world, first of all, maybe we need to say that the purpose of um, the mezuzah is to protect the people who lives in the house. The commandment is written using the word mezuzot in plural to say that we need to put mezuzot on our doorsteps. So um, we're using the word mezuzot betecha uvisharecha to put them in the mezuzot in the doors of your houses and in your gates. So the word mezuzot that is plural to mezuzah that we need to put um, when you read it from the end of it to the beginning, from the opposite side, you have um, the words Zaz Mavet, that death will move away from our houses. So you see that if you put it right, so then you have the Mezuzot, and if you not putting it or doing something in the opposite way, so then, God forbid, there is a lack in the protection. So we can see from that that the king himself, that his name is written inside the mezuzah, he is protecting our houses and we live inside. And that is in the opposite way of how usually that um, works in the world, that in the nature of the world, Usually the king lives inside his palace and the guards are watching him from the outside. They're standing on the pillars, on the towers and protecting their king. The nation is surrounding the king. Everything is surrounding the king. But in our holy Torah, in Judaism, we can see the opposite, that we live inside and the king is surrounding us from outside to protect us. And this is something very amazing that when the person is uh, praying to Hashem, praying to the Creator, so he stands in a certain position that he wakes up the mercy and kindness in the heart of Hashem. And Hashem is surrounding him while he stands in prayer. And when Hashem answers to the prayer of the person, then the person's request becomes to be the will of Hashem. Like the, the verse is saying, Retzon yere'av yase, that he's fulfilling the will of his servants, of his believers. When the Creator is taking your request and answering it, means that he put it into his heart. You ask and pray from Hashem to accept your prayer and your request, that he will put it on his heart, that he will listen to it and going to follow your request to fulfill it. So when Hashem is doing so, He elevates us and puts us in a central place to Him. We become the inner part of Hashem. We become the heart of Hashem. Our will become the will of the King. So we can see that the King is putting us in a place that is more precious and more important than the way that kingship uh, runs in the world, like a parent, the loving parent, that the life of his children are much more precious and important to him uh, than his own. Just wanted to wake up that wonderful point. 
um, to remember, to remind ourselves and to remember the greatness of our Maker. And to those wonderful ones that are able to keep that mitzvah, to remember how important and precious is, it is to keep the Torah and to follow the mitzvot as much as we're able to and as much as we can. And to remember that in any mitzvah, there are so many wisdoms and so many um, great, precious uh, qualities that are treasured within that mitzvah. For an example, the, the mitzvah of mezuzah, we're putting the mezuzah not straight like that and not like that, we're putting it in an angle. And not standing, not lying, just in angle. So the, I, re I read once in, in, a, in a book that the reason is to remind the person when he comes into the house that here in the house you need to compromise. Here in the house you need to consider other people's feelings and emotions, other people's thoughts, other people's ideas, other people's needs. And not to say, or what that I say is right, or what that they say is right, and to surrender, no. We need to find the middle way, the golden way, the path of love and patience and understanding. So you see that the mezuzot are shining in so many bright lights, bright lights, and there's more to say, and there is much more to say about the mezuzah and about the mezuzot. Um, but here we brought down two sparks of light and may they shine into our houses and into our lives and help us all to bloom and rise and glow and shine in a positive light. And may we find the inner faith in our hearts, in our Maker and complete our tshuva and prayer. Pray with a happy heart and a wishing soul and that all our prayers will be answered in no time. Amen. You know me, my name is RDMC With the Muna Project, all the nations with me Close your eyes, just breathe, see the truth Don't chase the fake world, don't buy the fake news Be yourself, your own true self Don't let no one take our natural wealth See the good, no fear, no despair Cherish who that you are And share Source of power from an endless spring, light up courage in yourself. You they can kick you down to the ground. Hold yourself up till you are put up your crown. King of the creator, holy soul inside. Focus on the spiritual and you shall.